Hey, it's Ashley and I'm back with another haircut transformation video. Most barbers make these three big mistakes whenever they are doing a full transformation. So I just wanna give you the quickest step-by-step -step guide to a full gentleman's cut transformation. Let's go. Step one, I'm going to begin by removing all of the bulk from the top of his hair. As you can see, he previously had an undercut, so this was quite grown out. And I'm just using my number four on my clippers to kind of take that away. And then going in using my comb as a guide, I am going to start removing his hair with this number four. Sometimes if you're not going to keep the top long, you definitely don't want to keep it out of your way and then have to work around all that long hair. So instead of pinning up his hair for the cut that he wants, I am going to remove most of the bulk to get that length where I need it. So using your comb like this, you're going to start to create a slight fade for yourself so that when you're going back in, you don't have to work as hard. And after I remove all of this hair, I'm gonna go back with my number four to get a really clean surface. Step two, I'm going to start my taper. I'm beginning with a zero, clippers all the way closed. And I'm just lightly fading out his neckline and then opening my clippers, going right above where I just was. Now I'm slowly rocking back and forth like a horseshoe throughout the hair. So now I'm taking my half slightly opened because sometimes the half guard can cut into your clippers all the way open. So you definitely don't want to do that. Then you'll be fading a line that you created out again. So then I'm just going to work myself up with my number one. And then I'm going to Continue in that horseshoe shape around the head, opening up the clippers and working myself back to the left, and then going in with a one and a half. And just slowly tapping right above where that one was, and then opening up the one and a half, and tapping above where the one and a half closed was. And then I'm gonna go with my number two. And I'm not gonna take this up to a three and then back to the four because I want it to be a little bit heavier. So I'm gonna open up my two and leave this right here. And then I'm gonna go into my step three, which is line up. And as I'm back here lining him up, I'm following the pattern of his natural lines and just bringing his hair down so I'm removing any bulk and creating a light taper around the edges. He really wanted his taper to stay mainly in the back and not on the sides as well so I definitely want to leave some weight there. And then I'm going to just lightly take the corner off in between the four and my two and a half. And that's gonna be able to keep that heavy weight without me fading him all the way up because my three would have started to cut right where that weight was. And then on the other side, I am just going to continue lining him up and then going around his ear. And you can see me removing that weight by pulling that hair towards me and then just a nice C shape. You can see my hands are resting kind of on the client's head 
to give me more stability when I'm lining him up. And I'm just going to lightly taper the sideburn down and give it a little line up. And then just double checking everything in the back, cleaning up any neck hairs. And I'm just cleaning up the sideburn on the other side so that they match. And then just kind of cleaning up his edge right here, pulling it out to the natural hairline, but kind of keeping that weight so it's still nice and full. And then I'm trimming his eyebrows very lightly. You just kind of pull the client's eyebrows out and up and you grab the long ones. You really don't want to press the comb against their face because you'll remove the majority of their eyebrows. And then after you clean them off and get all that loose hair, you'll move into step four. We'll start by wetting his hair down so that everything can be the same exact length. He has a lot of volume, so I really want the true length of his hair. And so as I lift his hair up, I'm kind of getting that water underneath so I don't have to work as hard or just spraying all of the top of his hair and it just kind of sitting and falling right down. So now I'm gonna start in the back of his head, in the middle, and I'm just taking off a lot of this weight in the back so that everything can flow really nice. And I'm working my way from the middle to my right and then to my left, and I'm following my guide I created earlier with my number four. And as you can see, I'm slowly working myself up to keep that length. And you can see the difference in the weight in the back and on that right side. And now just to even up his bangs before I start cutting the top too much, get it out of his face. I'm going to start with my mohawk where I'm matching his bangs to the top of his crown and then at the crown I'm going to meet what I've previously cut and now I have my main guide throughout the whole entire head that I'm going to follow. And then slowly working my way from my mohawk guide out towards the sides and then going and picking up the last bit of my corners that I need to blend so matching what I've cut previously on the top to my sides that were cut with the number four and I'm gonna start to kind of extend the front cortex out towards his face in the length because I want it to be longer in the front and then to slowly taper off to the back. And so now I'm just double checking everything I previously blended. I'm cross checking the back and just checking these corners towards his bangs. I felt like this was a little bit too heavy and I found my corner. And so now I'm just going to cross check what I previously cut from that mohawk section on the top. And 
and I'm just cross-checking the sides right there. And then I'm gonna take that mohawk section and do the same thing on the left side, grabbing in sections, working from my guide towards the left. Slowly working my way towards the back of the crown. And then I'll repeat the same blending on the other side. And after that, I go in and cross check everything make sure everything falls right into place and that the client's happy with the length. Hey guys, it's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed this haircut and got some tips and tricks from it. I hope you have a great day. If you wanna check out some more videos, I have some in my channel, like and subscribe. I'll see you back soon.